Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Monday the 3rd of February 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Connolly Tarot by Peter and Eileen Connolly. Okay, well, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Uh, let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for the start of this week. <laughs> and I believe this month we have uh, Mercury going uh, retrograde on the on or around the 17th, I think it is, up until about the 10th of March, so um, a relatively short time in comparison to um, Mercury's usual retrogrades that can go on for quite a few weeks. So, Okay, so just a little heads up there, my friends, that um, energies may start changing um, around um, communication, um, emails, letters, post, um, communication, um, in verbal communication, um, also electronics, they can kind of go a bit crazy, so um, maybe your computer system or um, the system, the electronic system of your vehicle, that kind of thing, so uh, being prepared. Okay, well, here we go. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? Thank you. For Monday, the 3rd of February 2020. Thank you. What do my wonderful friends need to know from the Connolly Tarot? Thank you. Okay. Love the colours on these on, on this particular deck. Okay, your first card is the Six of Cups. Followed by the Three of Cups. Wow. Finishing with the Queen of Cups. Ooh, an emotional day, my friends, but I do feel um, it's a message of you um, as the Queen will represent um, an, a mastery kind of energy. Uh, so, um, mastering your emotions, my wonderful friends. Okay, your first card is the Six of cups six balance harmony unity um, and the six of cups uh, represents uh, memories uh, usually we just see the two children um, and sometimes this can be um, thinking of old memories and sometimes remembering things differently than the way that your your siblings do in this illustration um, we see the children um, and also the parent, I am presuming, the parent standing here um, in front of their home. Um, I'm feeling this is making memories. This is you making new memories, my friends. And it's all coming from this new beginning, this new start that you are on, this new journey that you are on. You and... Um, spirit because I'm really looking although we're a lot of pink um, there's also the real inference here of purple um, it's representing your connection with the divine and that all day every day you are now being mindful to come from this wholehearted place um, where the divine lives that that spark in your heart is the spark of the divine and so from this new focal point, this new uh, perspective, 
um, that you are coming from, you are now making new memories, my friends, new beautiful memories. Um, and I'm really feeling, um, yeah, that's the emotion actually I'm feeling. It's, um, it's kind of, um, it's a nice relief for you uh, because you are aware of these memories that you are making and you are aware to um, make sure that they are positive memories. Ooh, <laughs> okay. And next we have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. Um, and I'm really feeling the energy here of you celebrating now your emotions, understanding that they are sacred, that you are given um, all of these different range of emotions for a reason. They are stepping stones to get you to places. Uh, and now you are understanding about um, positive emotion being more positive uh, I'm really drawn to all the yellow here so I'm feeling as my friend would say um, turning lemons into lemonade um, and you've really learned to do that my friends and again it's coming from this wonderful connection that you have with the divine and also that you have with your yourself three it's that wonderful number of the trinity um, you being your authentic selves mind body spirit thoughts words actions all matching you being wholehearted you being totally totally um congruent um, my friends it's as you are thinking it you are doing it and therefore you will be it um, and it today for me is love you are coming from a wonderful place of unconditional love you are not letting anybody pull you away from this wonderful positive energy of unconditional love and you are not allowing anyone to disconnect you from your connection with the divine. Next we have the wonderful Queen of Cups. Queens are cup energy anyway so this is double cup energy, double water energy. Queens they are motherly nurturing they are creative and compassionate and they have wonderful awareness this queen double water double cup energy has this new wonderful awareness she is a real empath she's very aware of her atmosphere she's very aware of um, people and situations that are around her and she's very aware of living in the moment and moment to moment. This is how she is making these wonderful memories and living a life of celebration, of authenticity. I'm really drawn to um, the fish in the background reminding me of um, Pisces. Um, of course, you Pisces, the only ones that don't usually come out of the water. Usually you are kind of swimming around in the water. Um, but I feel um, compelled to actually say that even you Pisces um, are relaxing, um, more comfortable with being in the water, more comfortable with your atmosphere. Um, all water signs I am hearing starting to be more comfortable be with being water signs and others starting to be more comfortable with who you are fitting in your own skin. You have this wonderful, wonderful awareness that the place to come from and the place that you are coming from is one of nurturing one of motherly kindness and compassion and gentleness for yourself and for those around you oh wow <laughs> a really really emotional monday but in a really good way my friends i'm loving this new 
um, this new standpoint that you are coming from now and it's this wonderful place of positivity where all your clouds in the sky are pink and fluffy. <laughs> uh, the storm is well and truly behind you, my friends. You are making beautiful music, beautiful memories. It is real cause for celebration because you are mastering your emotions and understanding that emotions are for a reason. They are your inner guidance, your sat-nav, your GPS always taking you um, to where you need to be going if only you listen. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Next we will have Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit for Monday the 3rd of February 2020? What do my friends need to know from Spirit for Monday the 3rd of February 2020? There we go. Also, looking at the sky in the background behind this queen, another wonderful shade of pink. Um, it's like everything in your your world is pink. You're looking at the world through uh, rose-coloured glasses. You are stopping and smelling the roses. It's all good, my friends. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so your energy oracle card is number 19, rest and rejuvenation and a perfect time I am hearing um, to rest um, and rejuvenate yourselves as you move through this beautiful um, this beautiful energy I, I am feeling um, of um, love unconditional love kindness compassion gentleness nurturing motherly energy um like you are mothering and nurturing yourselves okay one and nine adding up to the wonderful number ten um endings and beginnings my friends but it's a wonderful energy to be in um of of kind of ending and beginning um immersed in this energy i am hearing wow okay relaxation and meditation this card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state the message here is that it's time to relax you may have been busy lately but you should soon be finding more time to just let go when you do Allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there. This card indicates that there should be more leisure time now for you and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. Oh, wow. So make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings great assistance but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure that you insert this gentle activity into your daily life. In many ways, this is a far more productive than, un than unceasing action. Your affirmation is, I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. Oh, so to help you with your connection and keeping that connection to the divine, my friends, without me saying it myself, the message actually has come straight from spirit. Um, 
relaxation, meditation. Meditation is your connection with the divine and to stay in this wonderful place of unconditional love, to immerse yourself in this fabulous, fabulous energy. Um, meditation <laughs> every day, making it a daily practice, my wonderful friends. Okay. Um, next we will have Sacred Destiny by Denise Lynn What is the message from Spirit? Thank you And you get Voyage um, with this wonderful uh, whale and her calf, obviously, going on a voyage. Okay, well, let's see what the book says regarding this one. And it's a beautiful illustration with a wonderful big full moon. Humpback Whale. Humpback whales make the longest journey of any mammal. They travel 14,000 miles every year. They spend the summer months near polar regions and in the winter they journey toward the equator to tropical waters. Among some native tribes, whales are considered to be the protectors of travellers and journeyers, as well as guardians of the sea. This card indicates that no matter what your journey is and where it takes you, you have protectors at your side. The sacred landscape wants you to know. Get ready. You are about to embark on a journey. It might be an inner sojourn or an outer voyage to a distant land. It might be a project or idea that is coming to life. But most certainly... You are an intrepid traveller, sallying forth into the unknown. Where do you want to go? What have you always wanted to do or be? This is the time to make it happen. Get prepared. Have a clear vision of what you want to experience. But also be prepared for the unexpected. That is part of the exhilaration of being a traveller. Remember to enjoy the journey as much as reaching the destination. <gasps> Friends, I really want to do this. Both of these illustrations, these beautiful majestic creatures that should be in the water, are being shown out of the water. I'm really feeling this is you, my friends, out, out of your normal comfort zone, um, but it's a peek into your future. It's like you've come up out of the water and just for a moment, you are getting a real glimpse, glimpse, sorry, a real glimpse and a sense <laughs> of what your future is going to look like, my wonderful, wonderful friends. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. I've really gone all tingly. This is absolutely, well, it's fabulous. Oh, OK. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Ruby, the kind red spirit? What do we need to know, Ruby, for Monday the 3rd of February 2020? What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? 
What do we need to know, Ruby? Monday, the 3rd of February, 2020. There we go. So, I feel she did take her time to choose this card. Okay. So, your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Yes, yes, yes. It's time to allow your imaginations to get fired up, my friends. <laughs> this is this glimpse, this uh, sense um, of a wonderful future. Um, and it's all down to you and you, you and your imagination and what you want to dream into your life. Ruby says... Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream and believe in impossible. Oh gosh, I can't speak. I'm that excited. <laughs> believe in unlimited possibilities. This is this glimpse that you are having, this sense of what your future and your reality um, could look like, my wonderful friends. Oh, wow. Oh, OK. <clears throat> Ruby says, your imagination was once wild, free and magical. Deep in your heart, you believed that anything was possible. Then you grew older and were told to live in the real world. You were told to take sensible action, to be responsible and learn facts and figures instead of dwelling in daydreams. You were led to believe that hard work was the only way to get results. This thinking cut you off from your magic and blocked you from using one of your most powerful manifesting tools. Now, the winged horses call on you to soar back into the realms of your imagination and to use daydreaming as a powerful way to create your reality. Return to your childlike mind that was full of wonder and to your belief in magic and miracles. Instead of being limited by reason, allow yourself to fly high into possibility and believe that you can be, do and have anything. If you can see it happening in your mind, it can become real in the physical. Spend time each day to powerfully dream of what you want. Let your imagination activate feelings of joy, delight, gratitude, amazement and surprise. As if your wildest dreams have already come true. Let those feelings flood your body and stream them back to the universe. Give thanks in advance and surrender the how to the divine. This card also encourages you to go even higher with your dreams and to trust that you are closer than you think. Have patience and don't give up right before your vision manifests. Oh, wow, 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 wow. What a fabulous message. A fantastic way to start the week. Uh, letting your imagination soar, my friends. It's time for you to come up out of the dark, out of the deep, out of the... Um, uh, this water I'm feeling has been kind of emotional turmoil for you. Uh, you are getting wonderful glimpses now of uh, your future, getting a sense of what your future could look like because you are keeping this wonderful connection going with the divine practice every day, my friends. Every day, practice your relaxation, practice your meditation, setting your focus and your intention, daydreaming on your whatever it is that you want to manifest for yourself in reality. Oh, you have the power, my friends. It is all down to you. And Ruby is saying, grow huge wings. Allow your imagination to soar. Soar to new heights. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you for all of your likes, shares, 
Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them. And the ones about your birthdays, my friends, if you let me know well in advance, um, I could definitely give you a shout out on the channel. And so, my wonderful kindred spirits, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.